Hey, I'm Harold Wright with Be Safe. And the other day, I was uh, actually it was a couple years ago. <laughs> um, I was out uh, doing a job. A guy called me out and said he had a big beehive, mean beehive, in the bottom of his trailer, his mobile home, in Venus, Texas, which is not too far from Dallas, about an, about 45 minutes to an hour. And he said that the bees had killed his horse. So when I arrived on the site, I I saw the horse. He showed me the horse. The horse was covered in bee stings. It, what happened was, how, how, how it turned out was, the beehive was under the trailer, the horse, they lived like on a, about a two to four acre lot, and the horse came up to the front acreage, right next to the mobile home, and just was standing there, maybe 20 yards from the bees, and that was too close. The bees smelled the horse, maybe the horse was a little sweaty, and the bees started to attack the horse. The, the, of course, an animal doesn't know what to do sometimes, especially a horse, I guess, in this situation, and the horse got, got basically was in shock, stood there, just stood still for 20 minutes and just died right there. It was really sad to hear the story. The guy said he lost his best friend that day. Um, well, what happened was, we um, I took care of the bees. It was a very aggressive hive, uh, big Africanized hive. They died that day, and no problem. That's what we do. And um, But he has one less horse. So it's kind of a sad situation. We also hear other, other stories um, about dogs dying and even people dying. And that's some other stories that we can share later on. And uh, why don't we check, the, check out our beehives here. We're in our little bee yard back behind our house where we have a few beehives that, um, that are in a couple different types of boxes. We have them in the, the regular beehive boxes. We have the top, we have a top bar hive right here. And we have just the regular beehive boxes which are not that pretty. And then we have owl boxes or bird houses, whatever you want to call them. These are their owl boxes that are put in people's trees, and bees like to fill them up. It's like a hollowed out, it's like a hollowed out tree, and so it's kind of a jam packed in here with a whole bunch of bees. Most of these hives are actually other people's bee boxes. We uh, we pick up swarms on a daily basis, and then we like this right here is a, a swarm box. And we put the bees in here. Try to show them without them stinging me. I'm not really suited up here, but uh, lift this up a little bit. Show you some bees. Hmm. How long they've been here for? See how nice they are. They might have started attacking, so I'll start running just because I don't have my suit on and I didn't smoke them at all. But this is a bee swarm right here that we picked up. As you see, they're they're pretty nice still. They're about to fall. <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. So this is what a swarm looks like without any honey and hive. And there's a lot of bees. And the queen's in there somewhere. She's probably uh, down down underneath, hiding out. And here's all these worker bees. Every single one of these bees can attack at any moment. And they all have stingers. There's only a few drones in here. So I'll close these back up and make them happy. And um, yeah, we love bees. We love to protect them. We're going to take this box right here of bees and we're going to dump it into a hollowed out box. I think this one, see there's no bees coming out of the entrance? Well, that's a hollow box, so we're going to put the bees in that one. See this one right here, you look at it, These are n none of these are aphronized hives. We don't keep aphronized hives here because they're just way too aggressive. But if you see every every few seconds, there will be a bee coming out to go work. They come, uh, and then every few seconds you'll see some bees arriving. Like right. Anyways, so I'm getting checked out right now by a few bees. So I'm gonna back off a little bit. And um, but anyways, that's how it is. So these are some bees hives right here that are waiting to be put into our bee yard to be filled up with uh, honeybees. And we'll be giving these to our, our beekeepers that are in local cities. And that's it.